Hey y'all, uh, this is video vlog number one, uh, sort of an introductory to me and uh, my journey with vertical gastric, no, vertical sleeve gastrectomy. That's uh, what I'm going to be doing, going in for, flying into um, Tijuana, Mexico via San Diego on the 27th of August, and I'm not alone. Um, I've been on a forum, uh, Sleeve Talk, and there's a lot of us going in August to various doctors, but there's at least three I know of on the same date going in to see Dr. Or Ortega Lopez uh, or his his wife, Dr. Os Os Osuna. Yeah. So anyhow, this is me. I'm... 245 pounds, a BMI of 41, could be 40 now, and uh, five foot five and a half. Um, been struggling with weight since I was 11 years old, and uh, a couple times I was successful getting it off, mostly with walking, and low carbing. Low carb makes sense to my body, it works, and I feel better. So, I mean, I have no problem with the post-op diet being low-carb because it definitely gives me energy. It makes me feel better, get the sugar out of my system. Um, I'm, I'm a sweets kind of person. If I'm going to fall and do something crappy to my body, it's going to be sugar or caffeine. That's what I, I go for. So, lots of coffee lately, more pop. And colas and um, yeah, sweets. Not not all the time, but definitely sometimes I get a craving for it, and, and there I go. So uh, right now, Dixie. Right now, my kids aren't aren't here. They're at uh, their dad's. Get out of my coffee cup. And uh, we have a house in Wilkie. It's summer break gonna get this done before the kids come back so I'm working on that um, the reason why I went sleeve is uh, I have a good friend who, who opted for and had her lap band done in Canada and uh, I'm sure it's gonna be great she's a very strong girl she she kind of in doing this catapulted me into looking this up checking it out and on the forums, on YouTube, uh, just all over the place for weeks, right? Three in the morning, I was still on the computer checking stuff out and decided, like, I didn't even know there was a sleeve. I didn't know such a thing could exist. I'd heard of um, uh, duodenal switch and uh, the other one, supposedly the gold standard. What's it called? Gastric bypass. I'd heard of those, but the malabsorption issues and stuff really threw me. I checked into this years ago, but now with the sleeve, you don't have those uh, same kinds of problems, and you don't have a foreign body, uh, an object in your body, which can cause problems, and definitely not into the whole needle filling thing. So um, going for the sleeve, and I'm feeling pretty positive. Uh, I was really, really excited and gung ho and woohoo! I'm going for it. And then Medicard called me and told me that I've been accepted and I have the loan and uh, it's a sure thing. And then I panicked because <laughs> it got real all of a sudden. It wasn't something that I was planning anymore. It's coming on. So um, I'm wrestling with that, you know. Uh, trying to figure out is is are are you stupid? Is this really a good thing? Am I going radical? I haven't told too many people yet. Uh, the girls at work, my my closest friend at work, I just went to her stag at last night. She's getting married in August. She knows. She's not really big on talking, so uh, not a lot of people know. My boss knows because she had to give me the time off and. Um, so did another another girl who books the time off. So there's a couple people that know, but by and large, other than my very immediate family, my extended family doesn't know. Uh, most of the girls I work with don't don't know. Love the girls I work with, but uh, I'm I failed so many times um, in trying to lose weight. 
I just feel like it's a rerun and I'm embarrassed. So it's not something that I, I really want to revisit a whole lot of um, talk with them about. I just want to get it done and, and uh, hopefully show progress rather than talk about it. So that said, um, I'm walking again. I used to walk for miles, miles, especially when we lived in the Yukon. Walking, I had a house on the top of a mountain, and I had a friend who talked me into walking home with her, but she, she lived halfway up the mountain. She was in awesome shape. And for the first while that I walked up that mountain, she'd drop her off halfway up and then keep right on going. I had, oh my God, my legs burnt. I had to walk backwards because my calves and my thighs burnt so bad. And uh, I was so out of shape. And then after a couple months of doing it, I remember the day that I could walk all the way up forward without having to turn. That was a breakthrough. That's when I really noticed that there was change, something physical that I could call a success. And I'm hoping during this process that there's going to be lots of successes like that, like not having to contort myself to tie up my shoes or... Um, <laughs> again, shave my legs or <laughs> uh, play soccer with the kids at the preschool again without getting out of breath and having to leave the game. Um, my 15-year-old daughter is very physically fit, really active, and I'd like to keep up with her and, and do some physical things, you know, some active things with her. And my little 10-year-old encourage her to, you know, get active too. Um, she She likes video games and television and and there's a whole bright, beautiful world out there away from the TV that I want her to experience, but I haven't exactly been a great role model. So I want to change that. And then I've got really active dogs, boxers to walk. They could always use the extra attention. You can hear them chewing and snorting back here. And I've got, what, five weeks left to get my birth certificate in and my passport sent away and received before I fly on the... 26th. Yeah, so lots to do yet. And I'm hoping to see, like so many of you ladies I've been watching on YouTube, a change as the videos go by every month. I've been thrilled with your progress and thank you so much for sharing um, all your progress, all of your videos and, and your insights and experiences because it, it really helped me make my decision and go forward with this. So thanks to everybody out there, and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye.